Oh, okay. video. I'll give you a hundred dollar bill what? if you'll come in, park your cab, we'll yeah. park it for you, and yeah. you'll wait, uh -huh. and you'll be on Hollywood Square. Yeah. All right, will you do that? I get, well, well, what do I have to do? I mean, what, what does it mean? What, what's the catch? No Nothing is the catch. catch. There's no catch. I'll give you a hundred. Catch. Look at this. this. You think this is real? This yeah, is not phony. Real. Yeah, on, right. They don't give this on Wheel of Fortune. Pull the cab over, okay? If you want it. Would you come in? We'll give you a hundred dollars, and the lady in the back seat a hundred dollars. If you'll be on Hollywood Squares, you won't be on camera, but we'll give you a hundred bucks. You can be on Hollywood Squares and be in, and we'll take care of your cab. You want to? Is that all right with you, ma'am? You don't have to do anything. We'll just give you $100. Okay? If you, if you got, like, a half an hour to spend? Okay? She says, okay. okay. And you get the $100, and you'll be on camera. Okay? All right. Great. From the streets of America's most exciting city, from the showplace of the nation, Radio City Music Hall, from the center square, Joan Rivers. From television in the gridiron, Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford. From rap music start on the Fat Boys. From his favorite square, Jim J. Bobbitt. From the country music hall of fame, Roy Clark. From Slim Kirkin, Richard Simmons. From one life to live, Andrea Evans. From stage, screen, and TV, Lynn Redgrave. Oh, me on Shadow Steven. Here. This is the largest audience ever to view a game show live. And welcome to the millions of people watching on television. Welcome to New Hollywood Studios. Hello, stars. As always here in New York City, we have two new contestants each day because we want to get as many people from the tri-state area on each day. We'll have a winner at the end of the show. On my left, Miss O is Pearl Kirsch. Hi, Pearl. Welcome to the show. So we can better get to know you. Tell the stars something about yourself. My name is Pearl Kirsch, and I'm originally from Israel. I live in Jersey with my husband and my two children. Let's hope they're watching the show. Good luck, Pearl, on the show. On my right, meet Bob Clipper. Let's hear it for Bob. Oh, great. Tell the stars all about yourself. You look so nice. Well, I'm um, from Bayside, Queens. I'm a, yeah. I'm a sales and service rep for a chemical company. I'm single. And the proud uncle of, <laughs> proud uncle of five nieces and nephews, and this is wild. Yeah, we're glad you're here, Bob. It is wild. Nice to be here. The cars for today are beautiful Jeeps. And last week we gave away three cars here, so let's hope. We flipped, we flipped a soft pretzel backstage. Pearl, you won the toss. Pick a square. Let's get started. I'd like Joan Rivers, please. Joan Rivers! Joan, isn't it great to be in New York? What? Isn't it great to be in New York? Unbelievable. The energy in this city is... Here's a question for you. This has to do with New York City, as many of our questions do. The first time it happened was right here in New York City, and it happened to George Washington. What happened? The police towed away his horse. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, George Washington was the first president of the United States, and downtown in the Raleigh Tavern, he did the oath of allegiance. The, uh, not York? The, oath, the, uh, the oath of office. In New York City? In New York City. Pearl, would you buy that from Joan Rivers? I agree. That's it. Circle gets a square. He was inaugurated. Many people don't know that. Our first president was inaugurated in New York City. Bob, pick a square. Jim J. Bullock. Jim J. Bullock. Hi, Jim. Hi, John. Jim, who first gave us the famous advice, look before you leap? The tour guide at the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> look before you leap. Uh, uh, Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin, Bob. I disagree. Oh, Aesop. X gets the square. Aesop said that. It was one of his fables. Pearl, pick a square. 
Roy Clark, please. Roy Clark, Entertainer of the Year, many times over. Thank you, John. There are two cabbies that I hailed at the beginning of the show. Uh, I want them to please stand up, okay? We'll have a fascinating visual question for you. Where are they? Where are they? Don't they look great? They were just driving along. First of all, it's very hard to get a cab in New York, guys, and I want to thank you guys for pulling over. We, we all appreciate that. The question is, Roy, yes, sir. look carefully at these handsome guys. I did. Which of these gentlemen is dressed in accordance with the new Rule 101 uh, of the rules and requirements governing yellow medallion taxis of New York? Is it neither of them, both of them, or just one of them? Yes, they are both dressed, according to the code, because they're wearing shoes. <laughs> he says they're both dressed properly. Pearl, what do you think? I agree. The dress code, which went into effect August 21st, uh, okay, minimum standard must include shirts with a collar, sleeves, long or short, pants or skirts. <laughs> they must be hemmed no higher than mid-thigh. Shoes or sneakers, okay, but no open shoes. Must be neat and clean in appearance. The fine is $25. Circle gets a square. They're both of New York City! Yeah. Bob, pick a square. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons! Hey. To an astronaut, Richard, what is LOX? It's, LOX. It's, it's the stuff they put on their dehydrated bagels. <laughs> this is Bagel City, New York. LOX, Richard. Oh. L-O-X. Well, it's, a, it's kind of a slang. L-O-X means lots of oxygen, and that's what the astronauts need up there because they're so far away. Bob, what do you think? I disagree. Good for you. Liquid, well, I have liquid oxygen. So, you're saying the disagree is right. X gets a square. It's very nice, Richard. Pearl, who do you take a square? Lynn Redgrave. Oh, uh -huh. oh thank you. Thank you. No. It's hard up here. You might want to go to the fat, ways, uh, the fat boys yeah. to block, but... Are you trying to persuade her not no. to pick me, John? Maybe she's found a new way to win at tic-tac-toe. I don't I know. don't care. Win. Picking me is the finest choice. <laughs> I don't care. Lynn, Thank this... you. Yes. Hurry up now. We, Come along. We have here a Shakespeare day. question a because Shakespeare. of your classic background. To be of or not to be, that that's is not the it. question. Whether no. it is no blind. No. no. When Hamlet, remember Ham? Hamlet, that's who said When he refers to the bear bodkin. Ah. What is he talking about? Ah, he speaks of the old playmate of the month. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was carried away. The bear bodkin. The bear bodkin. Yes. The bear bodkin is a dagger. Pearl? Uh, I agree. Circle gets a square, that's it, and unsheathed dagger. She knows the Shakespeare. Bob, pick a square. Fat boys for the win. The fat boys for the win. Hi, guys. <laughs> guys, I, I don't know why you get these kind of questions, but the question is, which nut has the most fat? Eater. To be serious, folks, it's uh, almonds. Not pistachios. Pistachios? Almonds. We'll say almonds. Yeah. Say, it is almonds. It is almonds, we they know. say. We Bob, know. what do you think? This is for the win. If you get this one, yeah. they say almonds. You say? I disagree. X gets the square. It's Captain Five. Come on. We're off and running. Secret Square game is next. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Let's go. Francisco John. You and your guests will fly from New York to San Francisco in the comfort and convenience of Continental Airlines. Full service flight furnished by Continental Airlines. And you'll enjoy six nights and seven days at Holiday Lodge, San Francisco Garden Resort Hotel. Enjoy Continental Breakfast and be treated to a tour of some of the famous sights of San Francisco. Furnished by Holiday Lodge. Let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. Pearl, your turn to catch up. Take a square. Shadow Stevens. Shadow Stevens. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shadow, you're quite a guy. Oh, John, 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 John. Are you in the Guinness Book of Records? Uh, not yet. That's not your question, though. No. The Guinness Book of Records calls it the greatest human achievement of this century. What are they talking about, Shadow? Well, John, I'm glad you asked me that, because, you know, the, the old expression, the shadow knows? Yes. Well... <laughs> I know so many things that I've forgotten half of them, but one of the things that I know yes. 
It's common sense. Yes. Computers run the squares. Computers run the lights. Computers are in our cars. And I'd say, you got to trust me on this. It's he says the, the greatest human computer in the century yeah. is computers. Pearl, what do you think? I agree. No, he has such a trusting face. It's man's landing on the moon. X gets the square. You know, you go to opera and you go to ballet and, yes, you know... Yes, yes, I have a whole other life. Yes, at the opera, cries of bravo are appropriate for a male singer, right? What should you cry out for a female singer? Lose weight, <laughs> lose weight. <laughs> and this should have been Lynn's question. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you call out, you make it feminine, you call that brava, brava. She says brava, Bob. Would you buy that? I agree. That's it. X gets a square and brava. Lynn Redgrave. Lynn Redgrave. Oh, Redgrave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's not the secret square, but she's a lot of fun. Hi, oh, Lynn. thank you, John. Lynn, you, the you, Statue yes. of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, Don. Is it yes. actually in New York, New Jersey, or is it in neither? No help from our oh, audience. Oh, this is a tough one. I know there was a whole controversy the other day on the news about it when New Jersey were trying to claim it. And Mayor Koch, who we have just seen blowing kisses to Joan, said that it was going to remain the gateway to New York, and therefore it belonged to New York. So I would say New York. All right, we remind Pearl, this is for the block. She says it is in New York. Pearl, this is before the block. What do you think? I agree. It's in New Jersey. Oh, wow. Thanks for the next day. you got to introduce yourself. Bob, pick a square. Which, uh, remember... Searching for that secret square, you could maybe win with Lynn, but you might want to go to San Francisco. What do you want to do, Bob? It's tough. I'll go for Andrea Evans, please. <laughs> you took the chance. You went for it. Woo! Oh, uh, I'm so excited. Did you know you're the secret square? Of course you didn't. No, it's exciting, though. I Here's your question. Secret square. Andrea, this is for a trip to San Francisco. Do I get to go with him? Woo! Uh, <laughs> It's a Broadway secret square. Who won the 1987 Tony Award? No help from my audience, please. We can hear all you out there. Who won the Tony Award uh, in 87 for the best play of the year? Was it Fences by August Wilson? Was it Broadway Bound by Neil Simon, the third in the trilogy? Or was it Burn This by Lanford Wilson? Fences, Broadway Bound, or Burn This? Two, three great shows. I believe it was Fences. She says fences. Bob, what do you think? It's a trip to San Francisco, the trolley cars, Chinatown. What do you think? I'm going to agree. Pack your bags. Let's get the square. Pearl, back to you. Take a square. Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim J. Bullock, please. Jim J. You've got interesting ways of playing tic-tac-toe, you know? <laughs> nice, girl. Sorry, Jack. Jim Jay. If I stood out on the stairs, would that help a little? <laughs> no. Jim, take a look at the monitor there, and let's see how much you know about New York City's ever-changing skyline. Yeah. Now, that's the top of the city court building. Mm -hmm. That is the top of the Chrysler building. And there you see the top of the AT&T building. Great buildings there, but look at this. Which building top is this, Jim? No help from my audience. I am very familiar with this building because I love Deco so much. This is the Empire State Building. I know this. Pearl, what do you think? I agree. Circle gets the square. You're rolling now, Pearl. Bob, take a square. Um, I'll take Richard Simmons for the Richard Simmons! Richard, according yeah. to Parade Magazine. Okay. You are a parade. Yes. Shoppers choose a supermarket because of quality meats, quality products, and something else, Richard. And shopping carts with four wheels. It's horrible. <laughs> you go to some of those places, you're the whole time. No, they like 
I guess they have these here in California, I mean, in New York, but in California we have these big supermarkets, like thousands and thousands of square feet. People like variety. People like just like to pizzazz. Bob, what do you think? I'm going to disagree. No, he's right. Circle gets the square. The widest selection. We all want a big selection. Pearl, he gave you a break there. Now, Pearl, I know, I know think this boy. through carefully, my darling. The fat boy. For the, the fat boy. She, yeah, the fat boy. Way to go, Pearl. <laughs> Hi, fat boys. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? A noted PhD reports in Parents Magazine that within the next five years, people will have a microwave unit in their bathroom. What would that be for? Midnight snacks, right? You get hungry in the tub. <laughs> you know. Nah, that's like, um, what is it for? A microwave oven in their bathroom. Probably for drying towels. Drying towels is interesting. Yeah, you know they get wet. You know. that, do you all agree on that? Yeah. yeah drying yeah. towels. Try... This will be for the win. What do you think? I disagree. Circle gets the squares to get rid of them. <laughs> to get rid of bacteria on your toothbrush, in case you didn't hear. We have a tie. That's how we like it. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay with us. Air transportation to New York for some Hollywood Squares cast and crew furnished by Delta Airlines, serving three New York airports with non-stop and connecting flights at Delta. We love to fly. And here it shows. Hmm. Thank you, Shadow. You know, guess what? Our next stop, this show travels all over the world. We are going back to Hollywood, Florida in a couple of weeks. We'll be there taping in January, and you'll see those shows in February. So if you'd like tickets, here's how you get tickets in the Hollywood, Florida area. Shadow? You know, John, if you live in the greater Fort Lauderdale area, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Hollywood Squares. Tickets, Hollywood, Florida, 33022. <laughs> Welcome back. We have time for just one last question. Now, we have a tie. Whoever gets this question right wins it. Bob, it's your turn to choose. Pick a square. I'll take Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford. Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford. It's a great city, John. Yes, it is a great city. Kathy Lee. Kathy Lee, you're so good as a co-hosting with Regis Philbin on the morning show here in, in New York. We enjoy you so much. And Frank Gifford on ABC Sports, you always know what to say. Well, <laughs> I don't hear, John. <laughs> According to Beauty Digest, if you are a witty person, are you more likely to marry a witty person or a person with no wit? I think a witty person looks for another witty person. Bob, this is for the whole ball of wax. You hear what she said? You agree or disagree? I'm going to agree. No. Uh, a witty person looks for a person with no wit because that's the way it goes. You know what? Pearl is our champion. Pearl first. I don't know why we did that, but it was great. So you've done very well. You've won $500, a trip to San Francisco. And how about a nice hand for Bob Clipper for being a good player? <laughs> Pick a key, girl. One of these keys will start one of those Jeeps. One key per car. Now let's see which car you want to try. Do you think you'll try the Wrangler Sahara? Let me know. Maybe you'll start the Cherokee Chill. Look at it. What about the Grand Wagoneer? What about the Wagoneer Limited? start one of them. Last week we gave away three cars. Which car do you want to try? The Wrangler. The Wrangler and Pearl and a good luck celebrity right after this. Stay with us. This is you, you know? All right, good luck. On the count of three audience and stars, let's help her out. Turn the key on three. One. Put it in. We have something very nice for you. Shadow, tell us what we have for Pearl. Well, Panasonic sleek, low, lightweight, full-size VHS camcorder records in low light and has high-speed shutter for capturing quick action furnished by Panasonic. We'll see you tomorrow from Radio City Music Hall. 
Some of our departing contestants will receive the following Paul Mitchell Systems Professional Salon Products, Luxurious Hair Care and Styling Tools for the 80s, Paul Mitchell Systems. And for silky smooth skin, one-touch electrolysis, gentle permanent hair removal at home with salon-style results from the hair removal specialist Inverness and RCA Security Switch by Burrow Industries. A motion-sensing light control automatically turns lights on to welcome you and discourage intruders. And Vaseline Lip Therapy. Why, it helps prevent chapped lips. With regular use, you may never get chapped lips again. The kidnapping of a steel magnate's daughter pulls back into a deadly dilemma on MacGyver tonight at 7. Then it's no laughing matter when a couple of comedians get mixed up in a deadly mystery. Buddy Hackett and Steve Lawrence guest star on Murder, She Wrote, tonight at 8, right here on USA.